In the state of hypnosis, you can release the emotional baggage that weighs you down. Milton Erickson Hypnosis is a normal and natural way of knowing your inner self and augmenting it with virtues like self-belief. Dr. Prem Jajiasi Welcome, again dear friends, to another excerpt from the band Phoenix Journal 30, Pleiades Connection, Return of the Phoenix, Volume 1. In this segment from a portion of Chapter 2, Commander Hatton navigates individual healing through the transformative power of hypnotism for self-exploration. This exploration is crucial in challenging subconscious misperceptions enforced by societal conditioning, which often impedes one's own growth. It emphasizes the importance of breaking free from societal constraints and advocates focusing on addressing root causes, rather than merely masking symptoms. This introspective narrative encourages the courageous confrontation of inner turmoil as a pathway to genuine freedom. Furthermore, it champions the sharing of experiences, whether positive or negative, as a profound journey toward enlightenment and ultimate liberation. May the celestial lighted hosts of God guide you through life's labyrinth, gifting you unending wisdom, boundless love, and unshakable resilience along your path to self-discovery. The Inner Child We speak of the inner child and yet, it is most often the inner infant and very often the adult-aged being who falls into frustration, as it leaves the cocoon of shelter of its primary care center, and hits the wall of the world in malfunction. I promise you that the healing of the world as individuals shall come only through that which you loosely call hypnotism, wherein the self can go within and confront that subconscious perception existing in error. It is the way you have been brainwashed, and the only true cleansing will be through the same level of perceptive confrontation and recognition which always places the beast at a disadvantage. For the confronting being has grown higher, than that suffering being within, and can see from a different perception. This is why the churches and evil brotherhood discount that which is most natural, the very part of your wondrous being which touches your soul and allows insight. This, in turn, causes men to lose power and control over your being and this they will fight as long as they can endure, to keep you sick and helpless. Just as cortisone may mask and clear hives, the cause of the hives is not touched, only the reaction is somewhat altered temporarily by the application of the ointment. To heal, the disease must be isolated, confronted and a desire for healing must be present. Surprise. Most people have become great friends with their disease for all sorts of reasons, and will go to their death before giving up the illness. We'll all once change who see the disease demon within. No, for some will place the blind as very tight, turn away, and or create another to take its place, but those do become more conscious in choices. Note one who has a symptom of some kind, then note what happens as that symptom is alleviated, if the inner problem is not healed, he or she will simply create another negative symptom, usually quite different in presentation so as to more fully fool the treating physician. What often comes in the ending, however, is crippling or development of a disease to fit the symptoms, either to gain power and control of another or being or to punish self for perceived sins or both. Tyranny takes many faces, dear ones, usually behind a masquerade which hides most effectively from self. These ones will sit through exercises wherein everyone else in the room has incredible experiences, and they dose to avoid confrontation with anything, it is an excellent sorting tool for both the god of light and the evil of darkness, not to even consider the mugwump too lazy or frightened to get off the fence. However, Know that by refusing to remove self from the fence, says it all, the choice is already made. Ones who are gaining insight always find that that which is hardest for them to reach out and act upon, is most often that which is required to bring the freedom they claim to desire. Ponder it.
God is always getting a story similar to this example. I have property I am trying to sell and all I get above the price invested, I will share it 50-50 with you, God. And or. I thought I was going to have to pay additional income taxes, but I find I will get a refund possibly. Instead, if I do, I will share it with you, God. Now, what would you say if God responded? Well, since I am so unimportant as to only furnish you with a buyer or somehow cause you to get a refund, I cannot be very important to you, for if you loved me for myself, you would give unto me and then know that the reward would follow. Ah, you ones bargain constantly with God and realize not that you do so, at some point you will realize that God does not need what is left over, he needs your willingness to share back with him that which you have received, even if it be negative, he will always help you bear the heavy burdens as well, always. Editor's Note To all my listeners and viewers, please check out the description section of this video for the above source, reference links and further comments. From there you will also have access to the banned Phoenix journals by the US government along with the starting set of Phoenix journals, as recommended by Commander Hatton to read first. The journals help unravel and clarify the many lies, tamperings and misconceptions foisted upon the masses. By those who seek to control the thoughts, perceptions and actions of others from generation to generation especially those of the true Christed life teachings of Isu Emmanuel Jesus Sananda. For uninformed readers, the new name and title of Sananda is an earned level of utmost respect and achievement for the accomplished and highly revered master teacher, meaning one with God. As a matter of fact, even your mistranslated and tampered with Bibles mentions that he would have a new name upon his return. The Phoenix Journals are the word of truth given forth to mankind from the higher realms of light, during this most critical transition time upon Earth's evolution to a higher dimension. Please like, share and subscribe to help support my YouTube channel, and as always have a wonderful day. In love and light. Thank you.